Greetings food servers. Welcome to another Vending Machines episode on the Mealtime Show. I got a special one today for you. This is Unagi Eel. Look at those things. It's a vending machine that sells freshwater eel. There's the processing right there. Gorgeous on They cook it and then they put this delicious sauce on top of it. Comes with a little bit of this Sancho pepper, kind of spice. That's how they skin it right there. It's a cool vending machine and then they smoke it right there. This is a first. An eel vending machine. Oh my gosh. Never seen one of these before. Just an eel. That's all it sells. It's just different packages of eel. So it takes cash or different types of credit cards, IC cards. I'm gonna get this one, the 100 grams for 1700. Bit pricey, but eh, you know, it is what it is. It's eel. I mean, it's a delicacy in Japan. So, pretty excited about this. All right, let's go for it. All right, what comes in a box? This is nice. There it is. Unagi, oh, it's like a gift, isn't it? It's gift boxed. Comes with a little ice pack there to keep it froze. Check out these old classic vending machines. They sell newspapers, yo, newspapers. The Mainichi, the Nihon Keizai Shimbun. It's a, like a market newspaper, stock market. Sports Shimbun, sports newspaper. These are the ones I like. They usually have some nice colorful photos. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> these things are historic. This is, these machines, I bet they're, look at it, they're like rusted. I bet they're 30, 40 years old. Okay, they're kind of rare, newspaper machines. Make sure there's, yeah, they're in there. Okay, here we go. It is, just, just pushes it out to you. And then you pull it the rest of the way. Isn't that cute? The baseball players embracing. It's great, huh? Gotta love Japan. Which was that? It was 160 yen, so about a dollar, just a little over a dollar. Yeah, I'll read that on the train ride home. We got a drinks corner here. Most interesting one, though, is over here. It's a door vending machine. See? It's a door. <laughs> Oh, cool, it's Andy's. Shout out to my editor. Beat it some coins. Uh, 500 coins. Goes down into the in, inside of the door. There's the grill. The door looks pretty real. Get your change there. All right, for Andy, here we go. Looks like some kind of melon drink, melon cream soda. What is that? Some green tea potion soft drink. I don't know. It's Andy's. It's cool though, huh? Oh, whoa, whoa. they got a Monster Energy vending machine. I've never seen a vending machine dedicated to just Monster though. This is the first. I mean, they're typically in machines, but they only hold like two or three spots. Oh, and they got a new flavor, Super Cola. I haven't seen that before. For 238, let's try that. It's a cool machine. Black, love it. 30. Let's do it, let's do it. Monster Super Cola. You know, to be honest, I just like the can. I think the can is really groovy. Oh, it's a cool looking can. Camouflage Cola. That's what they should call it. Camouflage Cola. Wouldn't that be better? Could be better. Okay. Let's give it a try, shall we? We pop it, and we pop it and hold the camera at the same time? Maybe, maybe. All right, we got it. We got it. Hands free. Smells like Coke. Tastes like Pepsi. No, wait, oh, there's an aftertaste. Tastes like Dr. Pepper. Sprite, first it's Coke, and then it's Dr. Pepper and Sprite. Alright, back to Tokyo. 
Well, it's a vending machine's room. This machine sells a little bit of everything. Oh my gosh, they're fish cake. They're all different types of fish cakes. They're calling that a fish protein bar right there. Interesting, yeah. So there's the individual ones up at the top. A little bit difficult to see here. Yeah, fish cakes are interesting in Japan because they, they come in all different sizes and shapes. Let's get some. I mean, this is the first time I've seen a machine just dedicated to these. The fish protein's calling me that, number 39 right there. <laughs> It looks like, I don't know, a sausage or a dog, but it's, I don't know, it's rectangular. 3.30. All right. All right. Doesn't take coins? Does not. You gotta use a, okay, I guess I have a train card. Look at that. I mean, right? It's set up to take coins, but then it's, it's not outfitted for it, right? Yeah, and it's like, it's deceiving, isn't it? It's like, all right, it looks like you could put a coin in there, but uh-uh, it's plastic. They're really encouraging the card payment system. Look at all the different cards you can use. Like, I have that one, the Suica. Okay, let's see here. Which one do you push? I guess you find your card and then you can do it, Visa. Diner's spot? No, I don't want a credit card. IC card. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, see? Okay, these are the IC cards. Okay, so you put your IC card. There's mine. Okay, we're good. And what do we want? Number 39. I thought I read my... Okay. It's a little confusing. It said, one more time, touch the card to the pad. Okay. Oh boy, I hope I'm not gonna regret this. Fish protein, really? Eight grams of it, okay. It's a fish cake, all right. I'm all about trying new stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we do another one? Of course. Okay, oh, so they've got, these are like gift ones. I've got the gift packed ones down here. I don't really need that many. I want it for personal consumption. Get a couple of the ones on the top. Maybe there's pictures of them too. Which ones look the cutest? Number six, they're a little in fish shape, right? That's pretty nice. That's loud. It's so loud here with these bullet trains going by. All right, let's do number six. Okay, 240. Can you just put it? Okay, we good? Yes. Yep, they are shaped like fish. Are they? Kind of. Square fish? Oh, they got pictures of fish on them. Is that what it is? All right, let's try number nine. Japan e-money? It's e-money, right? It's an IC card. Not the so IC card, yeah. Okay. We got it? <laughs> Clear. Number nine. Come on already. Select payment category. Okay, I want the IC cards. This is annoying. No, not Visa, not MasterCard, not Diners Club. Come on. IC card, here we go. Where is it? See, it's like the train cards are listed here as IC cards, but they're not listed on this. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is really hard. It's this? It's got to be this one. Okay, that. That's what you want. You want that. Okay, now I got it. It's that. That mark is what you want. Okay, okay. So you scroll through them. Right, that's the one. That's it. Okay, finally. Coming down. Here we go. All right, there's two. Okay, one more. One more. Can we do it? Number... Oh, what's different? Number two looks good. Number two. Let's do number two. All right, that's a good enough haul, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Right, out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
Alrighty, All righty, we've arrived at a fruit and vegetable stand here out in the countryside. And yeah, check it out. They've got broccoli, big giant heads of broccoli. You get two for 300 yen. And then they've got the Mekons here or Mandarin oranges for 200 yen. Looks like you get four in the bag. Let's do it. Old school vending machines. Yeah, the money just drops down into that coin box there. And yeah. Lovely. Yeah, what else have we got here? These strawberry plants? This machine sells rice, rice in bags uh, for 600. 1.5 kilo. Don't really need any rice, but these would be good. Hey, 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 we're at my favorite deli sandwich shop. And it's called the Deli Hana Hana. Oh yeah, 24 hours, it's in my neighborhood. Oh, check it out, they're doing Uber Eats now. Oh, they are stepping it up, oh, my goodness. So this is their new machine. Got the hamburger bento, that's what I wanted last time and they didn't have it, they do have it, okay. They've got chicken wings, we got sushi, they've got extravagant desserts marked way down, 470 to 200. Okay, that's nice. Some fancy desserts here, chocolate bananas, sprinkled bananas, and mombaran. Ooh, they have switched it up. Nice. And then this is the classic, their original sandwiches. 10 different kinds of sandwiches. All right, well, we're just gonna get a few things because we got a bunch of stuff already. So let's do this. Where are we gonna go? Gotta get the hamburger bento. That's just cute. I bet that hamburger is delish. It's gotta be. Okay, 1,000 yen, $7, number one. Oh, we already pushed it. Coming down, here we go. Hamburger bento from the vending machine, oh yeah. The sushi, it's got meat in it. Oh, meat inside a sushi? Oh, gotta do that. Let's do number six for 750. And exact change, that's good. Sushi from the vending machine, this is pretty rare. Pretty fancy packaging, okay, that's good. Let's do the ham katsu, this is, this is pretty fancy, the ham katsu which is what, breaded pork, breaded ham cutlet for 400. Pretty rare to see those, especially at a vending machine. A ham sandwich, what is that, number eight? And they still come in a box, that's good. I like that. And one more. Yes, we shall, did we do the one with carrots and <laughs> ham egg sandwich? There's another katsu sandwich. Let's just do the basic, the ham and egg. Ham and egg is, is classic in Japan. And they're available everywhere, the egg salad sandwiches, and you just get a sliver of ham. But it's more about the egg. Okay, let's do it. For what, 380? Pretty good value. It's like $2.50. Number three, here we go. Also, in a box. Hey, hey, I found an interesting vending machine right here. It's <laughs> run by this hair shop, which is right here. It's called the Hair Shop Apollo, Apollo. And it looks like just a drinks machine, but upon further inspection, they've also got Oden. It's like a soup dish. It's got gyu suji in it, which it's got some beef in it and vegetables, like stewed vegetables. It's a corn soup there, but too bad it's sold out. Bummer. Corn soup we've done before. All right, I will have to come back, yeah, and try it again. Anything else interesting in here? Just regular drinks, so. I'll be back for that. It's chocolates in a can. All right, gotta get that. 
Chocolate's in a can. Okay. Let's do that for 200. What does it say? It says, no beauty, no life. Yep, at the beauty shop. Ooh, that's pretty fancy. Beautiful jar. Lovely cats. Ooh, it's got black thunder in it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty groovy. I like that. A little personal touch. We are back and I'm being joined by... Mega Man 6200. And what you read, Mega, this is a sports, Japanese sports newspaper. What's in the news today? The Hanshin Tigers won the Japanese series. Baseball. All baseball. right, baseball season is over. Bring on football season. There's no football in Japan. Soccer we have, but horse racing is big in Japan, right? That's the big kind of year-round sport. Right, okay, and we have a feast, another feast from a vending machine. Several vending machines. Yeah? How awesome. does it look? Is it a good balanced meal? It is. Did I do a good job? Yeah. Okay, I tried my best. <laughs> this was assembled over two days, actually. So I kind of forgot what the first part of it was that we did. It was this and this, and then today I got this, 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 and the chef prepared this and this. I also got that from vending machine, and who cares? Let's just get started. <laughs> Come by, shall we? Let's start yeah. out with a cheers. What are you drinking tonight? I'm drinking uh, iced tea sour. And I've got a highball, which is ginger flavored. I like these highballs. All right, cheers. cheers. Ooh, I smell the ginger. It's not too gingery, but it's good. It's not very sweet, which I like in a cocktail. Yours? It's refreshing. Tea. Refreshing? Not too sweet. Good, good. Okay, cocktails in a can. Can't go wrong, huh? And they're only about 75 cents each. That's the nice thing. They're yeah. under a buck, which can't go wrong with that, right? Pre-mixed, ready to go. Just add ice, put it in a glass, and you're ready to go. All right, where, we, where do you want to start, Mega? Let's start with the uh, unagi. Unagi, good choice. Yeah, we got to get this while it's hot. This is the freshwater eel. Okay, you're going to go on with chopsticks? Yeah. It comes on skewers. And it looks like it's seasoned already. The color of it, right, is dark. It's got a sauce on it, but they do give you extra sauce if you want. And there's also this Sancho pepper that goes on top of it, which is a tingly kind of pepper. I really like it. it makes your tongue tingle. You like San Sancho? I like it. Okay, here it goes. I did not open that properly. <laughs> no. That's, oh, oh boy, now it's really a mess. And this is kind of, it's a powdery sort of pepper. There wasn't much in there. It's a bit disappointing, but you, you see the... It's enough. It's got a really strong scent. Yeah, that's just gorgeous looking eel, freshwater eel. Unagi it's called. All right, get in there. So typically unagi or the eel is served over rice, but I decided not to get rice because we've got the sushi that has rice and we have a bento that's got rice in it. So if you want rice, dig into this one. Maybe we'll eat these together. Okay. Love to you. All right, did you get some? Did you get any? Got a little bit. If you want, you can just eat it right off the stick too. I mean, that's kind of one yeah. way to do it. I'm gonna do it like that, just for effect. All right, going in. Oh, it's so good. Does it need sauce? It's got sauce on it, but I think, let's put a little bit more. Yeah. What do you think? A little bit more. Okay, let's hit it. They give you a lot of sauce. It's really good. Isn't it? Yeah. It's super, super tasty. Now, there's different levels of the unagi eel. You can buy it really cheap, and you can buy it really expensive. This was a bit pricey. I think it was 1,700 yen, so that's like $12. A bit on the pricey side, but when you got quality, uh, it's like it's like A5 steak or something, right? Yeah. It just kind of melts in your mouth. Mm. I'm not fishy at all. I mean, it tastes like a meat, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's so good. Let's just and gobble it. The sauce it. is tangy. Let's gobble it. 
Okay, come on, let's just finish this up. You gotta get it while it's hot. This is so good. It's nice to have quality eel. I mean, you know, I mean, it's cooked. So, all right, the pepper's a nice touch, right? It's got a really nice sauce when you add it. It's just a, like a standard tare sauce, but oh, just the meat. I'm gonna lick, I'm gonna lick the sticks. <laughs> it's so good, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, I feel like I want to eat like three more of those. The meal's gonna go all downhill from here. What do we do? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. We've got some amazing stuff. All right, let's follow that up with the hamburger bento. It's a Kurobuta hamburger. So black pork. I think it's from Kagoshima, the Kurobuta. Really? Yeah. So it's a pork patty. Okay, so a dark pork, a huh? black pork covered in a sauce. Wow, that's flavorful. Mm. Very interesting. Yeah, not like a beef patty at all, is it? No. Yeah. Kind of exotic, right? Yeah. And it comes with asparagus. You like asparagus, Mega? Mm, not really. Well, you won't like this asparagus because it's kind of soggy. Yeah. <laughs> and the carrot, also soggy. But hey. You know, when it comes in a bento and then you heat it up, that's what's going to happen to vegetables. It's pretty standard, right? Yeah. But the burger, oh my gosh. You want more? Yeah. That is banging. It's very soft. Where are we going to go next? Your choice. The sandwich sheets? Yeah, let's get in there. All right, so we've got two types of sandwiches from the Hanahana Deli, which is my favorite sandwich vending machine in all of Japan. Unfortunately, it's in our neighborhood. Yeah. And they've got two machines now. They're always changing up the stuff. I don't think we've done just the basic uh, egg salad before. I think this is a first, right? It's got just one it's little first. piece. They're calling it ham and egg, but really the main ingredient is egg salad. So let's do that one first. Okay. I'll give you guys a look at it. See, you just get one little slice of ham, very thinly sliced, but it's really all about the egg salad. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. It's a nice soft bread, isn't it? Yeah. And the egg's got just a, what, it's so pure. I'm tasting mostly yolk, right? The we yellow do. part of the egg, yeah. right? It's a, it's very yolky. It's a very rich tasting egg. Is it mega? It's mega. It's mega, huh? And you get quite a bit of egg in it. The most special thing about it is it's just simple, right? It's plain, it's simple. Everybody loves egg salad in Japan. Right, there's not a lot of ingredients in it. It's a little bit of mayonnaise, salt, pepper, right? Yeah. They keep it simple. And then the, just the standard white bread, which is very soft. Okay, moving up to the beef, not the beef, the ham, ham cutlet sandwich. That's right. You like the ham? Yeah. Okay. They give you two and a half sandwiches per box. I like how they, right, they cut it just so it fills a rectangular box, which is interesting, right? Yeah. So you get two full ones and you get a half. Yeah. Go for it. He's going for a full. <laughs> I'm going for the full. Yep. Okay, and we'll give you a look at this. There's the cross section. That's beautiful looking, isn't it? It's coated in the sauce. And is that cabbage or lettuce on top? What do you think? I think it's cabbage. Cabbage, okay. Tasty. Yeah. Wow, ham cutlet. Interesting, isn't it? The, the most popular cutlet is the pork cutlet in Japan. But the ham gives it a run for its money, doesn't it? Yeah. What's the difference between the, the ham and the, and the pork, would you say? It's a little bit harder, I think. Okay, not as tender. Yeah. I'm thinking it's a, it's a richer taste. I mean, more like bacon. It's more oily. Good, though. The crust or the uh, the cutlet part of it. What do you say? The breading. Sorry. It's called the breading. It's crunchy, isn't it? It's crunchy. It's got a crunchiness to it. And maybe even a little bit of spice. Yeah. Yeah, which is different from the, the pork cutlet. It's generally what? It's very uh, pure. Try them both. 
For sure. Right? Yeah. Mm. Okay, so that was that, the sandwiches. Let's move on over here to, what's your choice? Go ahead. Let's do the sushi. Sushi, all right. Okay, and this is, uh, it's a meat sushi, isn't it? It's beef. Well, there's beef inside it. Okay, so I'm assuming it's flavored. We're not going to need show you for this, are we? I don't think so. Okay. We'll try it like it is first. And if we need it, we'll put show you. So there's scrambled egg in here, carrots, some kind of greens. And then, of course, the beef, sesame seeds on top. Let's do it. And it's flavored. Mm -hmm. So that's sweet sauce. Tastes like yakiniku. It does. <laughs> yeah. Yakiniku is Japanese barbecue. So, yeah. But, if you want to make it more salty, we do have shoyu. Yeah, it's in a sweet sauce. I'd rather have just a salty. It's kind of like the bulgogi beef, maybe. Yeah. Right? So. It's good. Yeah, and the vegetables are nice. Mm-hmm. Some good spices in there. So not your typical sushi, right? Typical sushi is very, what, pure, plain? Yeah. This one, more I would say Korean style. Moving on, let's get to these. This was a machine on the uh, bullet train platform in Odawara, which isn't too far from us here. About 20 minutes away, Odawara Station. And these are fish cakes, different types of fish cakes. And the Odawara area in Japan is very famous for fish cakes. So I found a vending machine, figured to give them a try. And the machine sold several types. There was probably, I don't know, at least 10 different types in there. And then they had different like gift packs as well too. You know, omiyages. If you're gonna bring something home for somebody, souvenir. Okay, open it, let's do it. That's the fried one, is that right? Yeah. What does it say in Japanese? It says konoha. Okay. It's like looks like a leaf. Oh, leaf. Okay. Does it look like a leaf? You guys be the judge. It does look like a leaf. It smells like. Does it smell fishy? No. So basically, kamaboko or fish cakes. It's processed fish, right? Different types of white fish. And then there's stuff that's added into it, and it's got kind of a, well, let's bite into it and we'll tell you. Oh, this is good. It's pretty good. I was going to say an eraser texture, like a kind of a gummy texture, but this is different. This is more meaty-like, isn't it? Yeah. A nice flavor. It's got a sweetness. It's moist. Right? Sometimes they're just kind of dry. So, these are a couple dollars each. I mean, there's also like really cheap ones that you can buy in the supermarket. What? Yeah, it has a nice texture. Right? It's good. It's good. Not too gummy, right? Not too gummy. Mm hmm. All right, next one. Let's do this one the uh, nankotsu. Spicy nankotsu, which is what? Fish cartilage? Chicken cartilage. Nankotsu. Fish bones. <laughs> fish cartilage. It's not chicken, right? If it's, it can't be chicken. It can't can be. It, it can't be chicken because these are, right? This is chicken. I'm, I've been informed by our chef this is chicken, even though Kamaboko is fish cake family. Yeah. All right. So you can see the texture. This is the cartilage or chicken bone. Crunchy. And it's spicy. A little bit of spice. Yeah, on the outside. Well, this one's a bit more chewy, too. It is. So you got a chewy texture along with crunchiness. It's a good old tsumami. Good old tsumami, he says. That's a drinking snack. I agree. Yeah. And yeah, like you said, there's a spiciness on the outside, the coating of it. Yeah. Chicken cartilage, that's what it is. Chicken cartilage. And these are, they're served chilled. Let's do this one, the fish protein. This seems like a racket, fish protein. <laughs> I mean, isn't all fish protein? <laughs> that's how they're advertising it. Um, okay. <laughs> all right. Can we get it open from the corner? Maybe, 50-50. 
Okay, got a knife over there? We got a knife right here, right in front of us. Okay, go for it. You gonna go for the little piece or the big piece? Let's see. He goes for the big one, ladies and gentlemen. Go for the little one. That tastes like a hot dog. <laughs> a cold hot dog. Right? Yeah. It's like an uncooked cold hot dog. <laughs> it's a good thing I've been living in Japan for a long time because, you know, I'm used to this kind of stuff. The raw. It's not raw, it's cooked, but to eat it cold, it's... Sometimes people say that, that Eric, those bentos, the lunch boxes that you eat, are those hot or cold? And generally they're served cold. I mean, you buy them in the train station, but this one that we had with the hamburger, we were able to heat that up because we're at home. So if you're at home, you can heat stuff up. But I'm used to stuff cold, right? You too. Yeah. Did you say? So you get used to it. Yeah. All right, last one. What does that say on it? Fukura satsuma. What does that mean? Um, I'm not sure. Satsuma. Okay, well, this looks like tofu. It's, it looks like it's deep fried. Okay, if you look at it now, it's out of the package. Okay, so deep fried fish cake. This one tastes like a sponge. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't taste. What does a sponge taste like? The texture is like a sponge. It's sweet. Sweet on the outside. I mean, it's kind of like, it's the texture of tofu, deep fried tofu. That's exactly what it is, right? Would you say? Yeah. No. Yeah. It's good. I mean, none of these are really that fishy. I mean, in the beginning, when I first had kamaboko, I thought it was really fishy and gross, but it's really not. Uh, other things are much more fishy, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I recommend that you guys try kamaboko. I think that you'd like it. Fish cakes. They're everywhere in Japan, aren't they? Supermarkets, you can buy them at convenience stores. Small packages, you don't have to eat a lot, right? And they're cheap, right? Because it's basically just processed fish. Yeah. Okay, so do we have a cool stuff time segment for today? Or are we just going to skip it? Cards. Cards. Oh, we do have a cool stuff segment. He's prepared something. Okay, so... Uh, We'll take a little break and do that, and then we will finish up the meal. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Cool Stuff Time. I'm gonna go first today. Here it is, my Cool Stuff item is the, I got it from a vending machine merch t-shirt. Yep, this particular version's got the cat on the hamburger. Yep, and that seems fitting because we did have hamburger bento. We had a hamburger from a vending machine today. Yes. So this is available if you guys want to check it out. There's a link down below. Uh, yeah, somewhere on the screen you can find it. Uh, there's a couple other ones. Wh which one do you have? You have one of these as well too, right? Yeah, I have the same one. You have the same one. But yours is red, right? Yeah. Okay. But I think there's another version too. Yeah. We've got a bunch of stuff on our t-shirt site. The other one that we have that's a popular seller is... I'll show you the show you. I'll show you the show you. I'll show you the soy sauce. Yeah, anyway, there's a whole bunch of like kind of dad jug ones, but I don't know. For some reason, they're popular. Eat a duck and mouse. Eat a duck and mouse. Let's eat. All right, anyway. Um, Mega, what do you got? Here we go. Let's do something. Uh, pick up cards. Let's do something that has some real value here. <laughs> <laughs> you got a what? Big up cards. Okay, deck of cards. Okay. So Spider-Man thick. All right, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna play blackjack? How does this work? You're gonna do some flourishes, card flourishes, right? Yeah. Okay, Spider-Man cards? Spider-Man cards. Okay. What do you mean that? Yeah, I guess they are. The Spider-Man deck. Oh, it's got the spider on it. Okay, definitely. How many decks of cards would you say you own? Like 20. 20 decks? Yeah. I think you got more like 30 or 40. Okay, <laughs> anyway. All right, show us what you got. Okay. Ooh, okay, cutting the cards with one hand. That's good. I like that. You cut to the ace of diamonds. That was nice. So you're not a magician. You're more of a card mechanic, right? That's what I would call this, right? Yeah. Here's just the waterfall. This is my favorite. Oh, that's tight. Waterfall getting good, Mega. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I think I missed that one. That's cutting the cards and flip. Oh, I love that. Throwing a card into the cut. Let me get a side view of that. I like that. The one-handed shuffle, riffle shuffle. Ooh, that's tight. Once more. Oh, my camera work is so bad. <laughs> Let me get close up of that. Sweet. That's pretty tight. And, um, oh, that's my favorite. I mean, they're all my favorite. Basically because I can't do them. So, what is that one called? That Which one? Uh, the one where you, they go from here down and you go like that. It's called the, uh, the is it a card fan? That, that's so beautiful. You're getting better at that, huh? Nice. Feels good. All right, let's get a close up of that. Oh, that is tight. All right, not bad. Not bad. All right, let me see. I'll do, I can, I can do one. Ready? Here's my card flourish. You ready? Here's my card flourish. <laughs> Dun, 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 ready? And one, two, three. Woo! Right, that's all I got. Who's the better card manipulator? <laughs> Don't put it below in the comments. <laughs> and we are back for the second part of the meal. Where do you want to go next, Mega? The salad. The salad. We got to do the salad. The chef salad. Yep. It's different every time. One side of the salad has cilantro on it. The other side does not. Which side are you going to go for? This side? The not side. <laughs> okay. One day he's going to like cilantro. I remember I used to hate it, but now I'm a huge fan of the soap. Right? Do you guys agree with me? It, it tastes like soap, doesn't it? Kind of, sort of. It smells weird. It smells weird. <laughs> That's the way it is in the beginning until you develop your palate. The more things you try, the more things you'll be able to eat eventually, eventually. That's what I've learned from doing this series. The more different types of stuff that you eat, the different cuisines from around the world, the different spices and whatnot, the different items, the more you'll be able to handle. Your palate will, what? It will change. It's true, it really will. But you gotta practice. All right, let's do it. He's not having any of the cilantro. Not quite yet. Oh, cilantro's banging. So flavorful. It, um, it adds to the mushrooms, I think. Right? Mushrooms is another vegetable that you're, fungus thing that you're not really um, fond of, right? Yeah. But the more times you eat it, you'll be like, eh, it's okay. And then you eat it more and more, and it's like, yeah, I, I kind of like it a little bit. And then it's like, eh, if I put enough dressing on it, it's actually pretty good. And then you eat it again, and it's like, okay, I don't even need the dressing on it. These things are good. I'm actually liking this now. I was like that with mushrooms. It took a long time. So the takeaway is, don't be afraid to try new foods. And even if you don't like it, you're not going to throw up. <laughs> right? Have you thrown up yet from any of the food that we've eaten? No. And the question that we we get asked pretty often is, have you ever gotten sick from vending machine food? Personally, I have not. Have you? No. So there you go. Yeah. Food standards are pretty high in Japan, right? Health standards, which is nice. We have got a new item on here, Mega. What is this salty brown thing? I think it's fried onion. We've got fried onions in the salad tonight. Round of applause for the chef. Round of applause. Did you get some cilantro? No. You didn't? Okay. Maybe next time. All right, next item. Oranges, oranges. Who cares? These are giant, aren't they? Giant. Look at the size of these things. For Japan standards, these are, they're, they're MAGA. They're, they're MAGA. MAGA. In fact, here, we can even do a little bit of, uh, let's see, maybe I can do some juggling with these guys. It's a little manipulation here manipulation i feel like i wasn't up to the standards of mega with the cards there his his card stuff was wizardry level my stuff was hack level this is pretty hack as well too but i could do a little bit of juggling there huh how about that that's pretty good 
<laughs> Not that good. <laughs> okay, better? Better. Okay, quit playing <laughs> with your food. All right, this one. Now that I've touched them, felt them out a little bit, this is the one we're gonna eat. This is the one that is ripe and ready to go. So these are a type of Mikans, which are a, a type of Mandarin orange. Okay, there's several varieties in Japan. And typically they don't have seeds, but when you buy them out of a vending machine, it comes from somebody's farm. So it's hit and miss. When you buy them in the supermarket, they're perfect. They're looking good, no seeds, Mega. Did we score? It tastes, it's like a mix between a lemon and an orange, isn't it? Yeah. No oh, weird. So, it's got a sweetness and a sourness together. Isn't that weird? It's weird. It's weird. It's different. But yeah, I mean, it's a, you know, came from somebody's farm. It's juicy. Mm, yeah. Pretty good. Better than I'd expected. Because typically, like, farm oranges, you'll have a lot of seeds. Right. Or you'll have a lot of pulp or something, but this is pretty good. Yeah, I think so. Okay, and also from a farm, this was a gift. These are Japanese sweet potatoes, and this is kind of the season. I guess the fall is kind of the season for these things. These are a superfood, basically. So not from a vending machine, although I have seen them in vending machines before. Let's just cut into it. So they're purple on the outside, and then they have this gorgeous yellow color on the inside. Okay. Look at that, and these have been baked. Look at that, and they're just naturally sweet. Yeah, you go, just gonna eat it just like this. You can eat the skin. The texture, it's like a mashed potato, it's so soft. This is a really good one. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. And it has a natural sweetness. Yep, I mean, it's almost buttery, even though there's no butter, right? There's no, right? Yeah. Right out of the ground. It just as is. Does not need any salt, pepper, butter, nothing. Perfect as is. Packed with vitamins and minerals. Yet so heavy. If you eat one, you're full, right? They're really dense. Yeah. You know? I think that's why we saved it for the end. If you eat it at the beginning, you get full. Yeah, so you can see right around this part, it's got kind of a natural glaze to it, almost like a honey flavor. Wash it down with the highball. I like this, the ginger highball. It's got it's got an aroma of ginger, yet the ginger flavor isn't really strong. I just like the smell of it. It's got kind of a bite. That's more of a sweeter one, right? Yeah, it's sweeter. Okay, so the very last thing here is this jar of chocolate. We got a jar of chocolate from a vending machine. I'd have to say this is a first. Yeah. And you can tell what they did, right? They have, they saved, they got these jars. Cute jars, right? It's got this on top. I mean, they bought some nice jars. Beautiful glass jars from somewhere. And then they just went to the store, bought candy, and then packed it. Right? Pretty nice. We got some leftover Halloween marshmallow candy. We'll pass on that. <laughs> We've got some Haribo German gummy bears. We got the Japanese Black Thunder, which we love. And these little guys are the peanut chocolates. Right? You're familiar with all these, right? Yeah. Okay. Peanut chocolate first, the standard. These come in big bags and they're cheap. This is like bulk, cheap chocolate. It's actually pretty good chocolate. It's pretty good. Well, milk chocolate with the nuts. I like it with the nuts. Okay. And this one, the Black Thunder. Let's bust this in half. There you go. Remember we had a, a taste test between the Black Thunder and the Crunky? Yeah. Was it the Black Thunder that we liked better? Yeah. Okay, so let's, com let's compare this one to the standard supermarket ones, the generic. I think the generic chocolate's better. It's sweeter chocolate. Well, you know what? Maybe this is not the generic. Maybe this is some brand. Maybe. No, I think whoever assembled this stepped it up. This is not the standard. It tastes like European chocolate. It's better than the Black Thunder. In my opinion, what do you think? 
I like the Black Thunder. Okay, well, there you go. We are differing in opinion. <laughs> All right, and we'll finish it off with the gummy bears. Today we will not be spitting these on the ceiling. <laughs> we learned our lesson. Gummy bears. I can smell them. Okay. German gummy bears. All right. Small type. Small type. But honey ball. These are everywhere in Japan. What? Germany has done very well at infiltrating the gummy bear market in Japan. Yeah. They're everywhere. Convenience stores, you can find them. And the quality is, it's there, right? It's very high. Didn't get any stuck in my teeth. It depends how much you chew them. <laughs> All right, and I believe that is gonna do it for this meal, Mega. Unless you wanna split the marshmallow. Let's, let's see. <laughs> How about this? Cutting a marshmallow in half with a knife. Who does that? We do. It's got a creamy feeling. <laughs> ah, that was the worst of everything. But I like the touch of, I mean, this, putting it in the glass jar. What a nice touch, right? Yeah. From a vending machine. I like that. It kind of reminds me of our very own get some snack packs, how we assemble stuff and put them together with tender loving care don't we mega yeah so now it is time to rate this meal mega where are you gonna go tonight one to six of your mega heads i'm gonna go five five out of six he thought about that for a while didn't he <laughs> five okay and uh what was the item that you liked the best the unagi the unagi sea eel no freshwater eel the other one is the uh, the sea eel is anago, a little bit different, but um, yeah, the unagi it's just it's, it's meatier. Yeah, it's got a better texture. It's more expensive. <laughs> and uh, anything you didn't care for, like a miss item? No. No, everything was okay. Well, it five. Okay. Yeah, five's kind of on the better end, edge of the scale. And for me, um, I think I'm gonna go five out of six as well. It's not quite a six. Pretty close. And I, I like the hamburger actually pretty good. Yeah. Because it's pork actually, right? The pork burger, right? The black pork meat. It was kind of exotic. The sandwiches we've had before, but they're just so amazing. It's just, they're worth repeating and doing again. And then the fish cakes were pretty interesting as well too. It was. Although, I think next time maybe we'll heat them up and try them hot. And put a little bit of hot mustard on them, maybe, or maybe, 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 maybe we'll eat them a little different style. Now, I think the uh, the oranges were good for you know farm oranges out of a vending machine, but whatever, it was a good variety of stuff. So five out of six, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to thank you guys for watching, as always, and we shall see you in the next one. Eric and Mega out of here. <laughs>